Hi, it's Michelle. Are you ready to free yourself? You see, there was a time in my life when I became obsessed and depressed, fighting against injustice. My social media accounts had been hacked and I had been shamed and bullied online. Even the cyber crime unit couldn't help me. Because social media rules are so loose, I would have had to gain, get all this evidence and get a legal subpoena. I had to let go. And you see, most of us have a tendency to dwell on things that we can't change. It causes us to stress. And in the end, we waste our time, we waste our energy, we become irrational, ah, right? We complain about things and all these things that we can't do anything about. But even worse, it robs us of our inner peace and our emotional well being. Whether we are trying to change a person, <laughs> you know, somebody you want to change, whether we're clinging to the past or we're worrying about a situation that could happen in the future, we all have to accept a brutal truth. There are going to be many things in this life that we have no control over. And so what I'm here now to do is to tell you what is it that you can do? Well, first you start by determining that. You can't control a storm coming, but you can control take action on preparing. You can control your mood when you wake up in the morning. You could wake up in the morning, you know, reliving all of these things um, and focusing on what's not good in your life or you can have gratitude in the present moment. You can pay attention to your thoughts and realize whether or not you're solving a problem or you're replaying a conversation that you had with somebody that's haunting you and it's not going anywhere. You have to think about this one very well. Is this something you really can't control or is this something that maybe you don't want to change? And I can tell you like an example that I had where I was saying all the time, I can never leave this job. I can't give up that paycheck. I was lying. Yes, I can. It's a choice. There's a difference. Know the difference. Don't give up your power. The next is we can't change people. Fix, fixing people, trying to fix people that don't want to be fixed is going to take you down. You can be a role model. You can be an influencer. I share the light all the time. I consider myself an influencer. I'm not expecting to change anybody. I'm not trying to convert anybody. What I'm doing is giving you the light, trying to share with you things that you can do. And that is what you can do. You might share your opinion once, but role model, be an influencer. The next is we're all going to have things that are going to bother us. That's reality. We have to learn how to cope. That's something you can do. And I would suggest that you use deep breathing because it is the quickest thing to do in the moment and it helps. It can calm your central nervous system down if you take three deep inhales and then exhale out everything you don't want. And last but not least, try to find humor in the chaos sometimes. Don't, don't get stuck in the dirt. You know, try to find some fun, some joy, and move yourself out of that victim mentality. So those are my suggestions for you on what to do. You know, take control of what you can and let go of what you can't, because in the end, we're talking about our overall well-being. And if you want to follow the peace, the light to peace and joy, you will never have it if we continue to be control freaks. And you may not be a control freak, but if there's something that you believe that you can change right now, I would love for you to post it in the comments. And if this is the first time you're here, please click on the, um, the button and subscribe. And that way you'll be notified the next time I show up, which is every Tuesday. And until then, I wish everyone well. Bye-bye.